Welcome back to the Business Psychology Hub channel. This video will review how humans develop their business instincts from an evolutionary psychology perspective. The previous video on the history of employment and business highlighted that modern humans were walking the earth at least 60,000 years ago. These modern humans already physically possessed all the key human instincts and mental capabilities required to be successful in the modern day business environment. It was between the period of 2.8 million BC and 60,000 BC that our modern day human business instincts were shaped by evolutionary forces. What is evolutionary psychology? The general theory of evolution, first presented by Charles Darwin in 1859, proposed that the heritable physical and behavioural traits of species evolved over time due to reproductive selection pressures. As a consequence of natural selection, human traits are proposed to have evolved from ape-like ancestors over a period of 6 million years. For the majority of this 6 million year period, a growing body of evidence has concluded that the brains of our ancestors were small. About 2.8 million years ago, our ancestors' brains began to grow and become larger, especially in the frontal cortex region, which is here. Evolutionary psychologists examine how the survival challenges of our ancestors living between 2.8 million BC and 60,000 BC shaped our ancestors' brains with a particular focus on the development of emotions, perceptions, memory, language, learning, human motivations, and in the case of this video, business instincts. Evolutionary psychologists propose that the brain is like a computer. For example, the brain like a computer receives information inputs. While the keyboard, mouse and USB port provide input for a computer, our eyes, ears, nose, mouth and skin sense receptors provide inputs for our brain. Our brain also receives inputs about our internal conditions such as our heart rate and glucose levels. Just as the central processing unit or the CPU processes information within a computer, our brain is the information processing machine for us. Finally, just as the computer screen or the printer produce output for a computer, our human output includes emotions, cognitions and behaviour. When at work or conducting business, our brain processes information related to key business problems such as How much am I willing to pay for this good or service? Do I accept my manager as being my leader? Do I trust my employees? Who are the co-workers who are part of my inner circle? And does this marketing campaign make me want to buy the product? Evolutionary psychologists propose that evolutionary forces have shaped our brain. Between 2.8 million BC and 60,000 BC, the weather fluctuated dramatically when compared to previous periods and current periods. The living conditions of our ancestors could be perfect for a few hundred years, then become drought prone, then become flooded by the sea, or there could be the onset of an ice age. Our pre-human ancestors had to survive under conditions in which they could suddenly face a new predator that may have migrated from another region. There were times when important sources of food such as fruits or grains or animals that we hunted for meat suddenly became extinct. A key threat would have been competing tribal ancestors as the changing weather would have encouraged migration under conditions of scarcity. A core idea of evolutionary psychology is that our hunter-gatherer ancestors who were the most successful at hunting, foraging, attracting mates and politically operating within a small tribe were also the hunter-gatherers who were the most successful at passing on their genes to the next generation. A key evolutionary psychology assumption is that specialised brain mechanisms have been developed to solve evolutionary problems. In other words, computational calculations performed by different sections of our brain and the associated neural architecture representing specialised software modules have each evolved over time to rapidly produce solutions to various survival problems that faced our hunter-gatherer ancestors. A major evolutionary problem was securing adequate nutrients. Modern day humans have specialised brain mechanisms that encourage us to seek out sugar, salt and fatty foods. Having a preference for these foods was a survival advantage for our hunter-gatherer ancestors who lived in times of regular food shortages. It is easier to market and sell sugary, salty and fatty foods even though we live in a time of plenty when eating such foods in excess over a prolonged period can have negative health consequences. 
In other words, the food industry caters to your ancient urges. Next time you walk into a service station, see how many foods you can find that are not fatty, salty or sugary. Our ancestors also developed specialised hunting and gathering instincts to gather sufficient resources to survive. Today, top level salespeople are able to tap into such ancient instincts to sense out and close major sales opportunities. An important evolutionary problem that all of our ancestors solved was finding a partner to mate with. Over time, humans develop specialised brain adaptations to identify fertile females and powerful males. The modern day marketing industry is well aware of these often unconscious human abilities. The marketing industry has a successful track record of using a sexy image to sell. Ensuring security was another key evolutionary problem for our ancestors who were under constant threat from predators and other tribes. In modern times, there are a range of security related industries designed to provide protection against threats to ourselves, families and organisations. Often people spend money on the security industry to give peace of mind to the ancient fear of loss rather than because the expenditure will significantly reduce a real threat. It is therefore important that organisations make risk and security related decisions based upon due diligence rather than relying on human instincts that have been designed to overcome hunter-gatherer threats. In a hunter-gatherer society, the key to survival is social cohesion. Any tribe that cannot work effectively together will perish. Hence, there are survival benefits for the human brain to process information about members of the tribe in a way that encourages effective communication and the development of a common culture and shared meaning. The brain of our hunter-gatherer ancestors therefore needed to be able to understand and process complex social input and produce behaviours that effectively manage the ongoing tribal politics. In order to survive in a tribal environment, our ancestors had to be experts in deciding who to form alliances with and who would return a favour. Such ancient instincts ensure that workplace politics influences nearly every workplace. Efforts to build unity and trust through team building exercises or a new communications policy can be counterproductive if management does not understand our ancient political instincts. Organisations can even profit from a deep understanding of our social and political instincts to strategically build brand loyalty. Clearly there would be advantages for a tribe to be led by someone who has developed close social relationships with every member of the tribe. The researcher Robin Dunbar found that we're able to socially track up to 150 close relationships effectively, but when the number's more than that, we experience cognitive overload. An obvious implication is that there should be a cap on the number of close relationships that a manager is responsible for, whether that be employees or key stakeholders. In the next video, we'll review the impact that our Stone Age mine has on pricing behaviour. If you're interested in this business psychology course, please subscribe to this channel. Welcome back 